never getting off track oh! Oh! Bienvenidos a Dunk Life Daily. What's good? Welcome to the friggin' show. We're out here on the balcony again. Day four, five, I don't know. We leave tomorrow. It's all a blur. Yesterday I went nuts in the gym. Went to the gym in the morning. Then I went to the beach. Got my friggin' UV rays as I sprinted along the beach. And then went back to the gym. I was going nuts because the day before I ate a lot. If you listen to the podcast, you understand. If you follow my Instagram, you understand. I had to get a hard workout in because I felt like I gained weight and I felt like there's no court here. So I needed to do something that I feel that I exerted the same amount of energy. Shout out to Nico Dunks. Go check out his Instagram. He talked about sprinting and how jumping, you don't always have to do jumping to do the most elastic workout. Sprints are great too. And I, I saw that post right after my sprints. So that was really confirming. I love that. So what's good? Happy Thursday. Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. It's a new month. Welcome to friggin' August. And the cleaning ladies are watching me and I love it. And other than that, <laughs> uh, what was I about to say? So on the, I made a video as well, a little mix of what I do, and it got blocked in most countries. So that's great for my content. But no one's keeping up, up with me workout-wise, content-wise, either way. I'm, I'm firing out fire, bro. And today I wanted to mention real quick, I got to get to breakfast. Whew, I haven't even had coffee yet, and I feel like this. I was in the shower just now thinking, do I have enough energy to do this? Next thing I know, I flip on the camera, flip on the laptop, hit record, let's go. Active recovery. So today I'm pretty beat from yesterday. My hamstrings are, are destroyed and my lower back is tight, but I'm already in this humidity loosening up. Um, but yeah, you have to, you have to move a little bit. You have to, you have to, I'm probably going to swim, probably going to just touch my toes a bunch of times, get full range of motion, feel that blood flow in every part of my body. That's super important for me as in my training and different days you want to do more before I knew all about this. That's why my, inf my flexibility is so poor because I used to work out really hard and get my, my legs super strong and sore. And then I wouldn't move them the next day. I would just lay there. And so they got used to staying still while they were super sore. So they got used to that and it compounded the soreness. You, it's kind of hard to explain, but it made it worse. The point is the blood flow will actually make it more flexible when you're sore, if you're consistent with it. So take care of your body on the recovery days. Move a little bit. I like to get a sweat. And you got to start to learn that balance of when you're overdoing it or you're just stimulating a little bit of recovery. Ooh. And uh, yeah, feeling good, eating pretty well now. I think my weight's back to normal. It's a little bit up there, but I'm excited. Tomorrow I leave. And then Saturday, I think I'll probably go to a court and just jump a little bit just to get that back in my mind, get a little practice, get a little sweat, kind of ease back into dunking. So yesterday was kind of a hard workout. Um, I'll go through it a little bit. So in the morning, what did I do? I warmed up on the treadmill to do a little cardio intervals of sprints and not. It was probably like a total of like two minutes. It was nothing, but I sweat a lot. Then I did some jumps. I used a box to kind of measure how high I'm jumping. I reached for the ceiling that was freaking 12 feet, but it was good for me to kind of push that. Then I took a little bit of a break um, and cooled down a little bit, but then I went to the beach because it's walking distance. And I went to the beach and I used the water and that was awesome resistance because you sprint in the water. So like good resistance on your ankles and my lower legs sprinted from outside the, from the shore up the shore, which I really love doing. I wish I lived closer to a beach to do that more. feels really good to run barefoot too. I, I highly rec recommend being barefoot as much as you can because your feet need to be super strong and our feet are getting super weak in these really good shoes because the shoes are really good. So yeah, barefoot running. And then after that, um, my hamstring was pretty loaded. So I wanted to kind of stretch it a little bit. And I tried to do Nordic curls and I can't even do it. So that's another thing I'm working on. I'm going to try to get that down and try to work on that. And then I did some abs just to murder it because I'm, I don't know. I just, I, I couldn't stop. And I felt great. I did some muscle ups, did two in a row. All of that was great. Mix came out fire, but I can't put it on YouTube because I don't want to get destroyed. But it might be my next little vlog just because whatever. I don't know. They're annoying with the music. I tried to use a fun song. I thought Instagram would be cool with it. They are, but not for some countries like friggin' the UK was one of them that I remember off the top of my head. Okay. We're, we're doing it. On this day in history. Here we go. On this day in history. Uh, let's see. It's the 1st of August. What happened today? F 527, the year 527, Justinian I becomes the sole ruler of the Byzantine Empire. Dude, I had a feeling on August 1st. I knew it. 
let's see, 1958, U.S. atomic submarine, USS Nautilus begins first transit of North Pole, Operation Sunshine. Oh, okay. By the way, woke up today to 28.5K. I got like 500 in like a week. So what's good if you're here and you're wondering what the fuck is going on? We're doing on this day in history because every day is making history, bro. Make history. Do it today. Now, film. 1981 NTV premieres at 12 a.m. Jesus, I fucking can't talk in the mornings when I try to go fast. I'm trying to bring that energy. 1981 MTV premieres at 12.01 a.m. So that's this morning, the first minute of August 1st on 1981 to MTV. Thanks. I like music a lot. I want to talk about music one day on these podcasts. By the way, let me know what the hell you want me to talk about because some days like today don't have much. I just go with the energy. I thought something like active recovery is a frequently asked question. I'll go with that. Let me know. I'm going to respond to every single comment. I'm a little bit behind, but I'll get to it. Today in music, 1971, George Harrison's concert for Bangladesh takes place in NYC. Dude, that's amazing. I don't even know what that means. Sport, 1936, 11 Summer Olympic Games are opened by Adolf Hitler in Berlin. Jesus Christ. All right. Well, on that note, let's go to the dunk lifer of the day. <laughs> oh, man, this was a good one. This is what I want to talk about. First of all, uh, here it is. Uh, Jacob and Pearl. So sad that you can jump so high and do windmills, but not dunking in game because you are a two-foot jumper. Two-foot jumping may make it harder. Some, some play styles, it may make it easier because it's more controlled. It is easier on a fast break because you don't stop. Definitely safer off two feet. But I do want to say I did catch a putback last week in a game, 10 feet. Let's go off camera. Yes, because my phone is recording. Yes. Did it fall off the wall because it liked vibrations and knocked it off? Yes. Should have had my camera. Yes. I didn't expect to play, so that's why I used my phone. Should have worked. Had it. Content creator. Always ready. Didn't work. But I'm dunking in games when I kept, get back. All I'm focused on is game dunks, dribble dunks, punching people's face. Punching dunks on people's face. And that's it. And Paul Toma. I would sus- subscribe again, but I'm already subscribed. <laughs> What's good? All right. That's it for today. Hope you have a fantastic Thursday. Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit for some extra double luck today. That's a lucky statement on the first. Go say it to everybody. Don't tell them why. Have them Google it. Just walk up to people you know, you don't know. Say rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. And they say, huh? And you say, okay. And you leave. Toodaloo. That's young life. Oh, that's the anthem right there. Tried to make an intro. Ended up making an anthem. Oh!